From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of Evenings LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. In tonight's recording, we go over the incredible recon that is going to the finish line. But will Lita Schumer get it done by Christmas? That's his representation. I have new breaking news about the negotiations that unfolded just minutes ago. That recon, so says Lita Schumer, will pass and pass by Christmas. But will he get it done? I have the latest breaking news that happened just minutes ago. Said a change is going to be robust. The latest details on that. Plus, the biggest payout you've ever seen in this history is channel. $15,000 a check at least in this incredible recon. We'll be cutting over to third stimulus because this is the real stimulus of the moment. This is your holiday stimulus. This is here. This is here right now. This is checks, lots of it, right in your hand. Your holiday stimulus, your Christmas stimulus. Oh my goodness. As viewers of this channel have cashed out at least $5,000 in their hand this week and sure night as well to get that more money. Student loan debt forgiveness, the latest details on that. Plus, the latest details on that Colo raise and what it's doing with your SNAP and this stimulus right behind that as well. But we have the latest breaking details that came in just minutes ago about what the Federal Reserve said. Did I get it right? Did I predict what the Federal Reserve is going to say today? I have the latest breaking details. The latest breaking details of the JoJo negotiations. Yeah, Joe Manchin and Joe Biden just minutes ago on that recon. And what Schumer is representing for his timeline. Will it get it done? Meantime, what did Raphael Warnock say about the situation? All the analysis, all the timeline, all the big money. But the great news is that third stimulus is paying your money right now. And then we're, in tonight's recording, I'm going to show you how to get more of that money, more than you ever got before, at least a lot more than you initially thought. The great, incredible, great news happens right now. A lot of breaking news on this big evening's LA details. And the excitement starts right here, right now, as evening's LA commences. And here we go. The recon is heading to the finish line. So says Leader Schumer and being going to pass by Christmas. What will, will he get it done? I have new details tonight about the JoJo negotiations a minute ago, what unraveled and what happened. Meantime, we're going to look to those incredible checks in his recon that pay a lot, upwards of $15,000. The big money, and this is the real right here in your face money, third stimulus holiday checks right now in your wallet. I'll have the latest details of how you get that money in this recording. Student loan debt forgiveness, the latest details on that, plus the breaking news about this stimulus, your COLA raise and your SNAP potential decrease. And then we go over to what the Federal Reserve said minutes ago, breaking news at the time of this recording. And then my commentary, the final five minutes of this video, it's different than even the afternoon show because the situation is changing so quickly. Very, very fluid situation across the board. Promise yourself one thing. You do not miss a single video or a single recording or a single day on this channel for the next 14 days because the situation is literally changing by the hour, if not the minute. And with that, I want you to part of this incredible family so you do not miss a video and go under this video right now and subscribe. 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record. I want you to part of this incredible family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes and consider becoming a member of Purple Hawk, Purple Power or Calcino VIP. That incredible newsletter comes out tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Hit that alert button in the alerts so you get a membership so you so you uh, are part of the alert system totally free the link is under the description and here we go that recon will pay you a fortune upwards of fifteen thousand dollars of checks are there multiple checks this recon yes how many well a lot of them and it takes me sh no less than six steps to show it to you because we have three clusters and three add-ons and two of those add-ons are already confirmed that pays you out a lot of money, about $15,000, but you're going to see very quickly, it may be upwards of about $50,000 or more. Cluster number one, let's get to it right now. Hazard pay, got in there, earned income tax credit for one more year. $4,000 of elder care, got it in there. The CTC for one more year. The repairs to a low-income community home, got it in there. Then also got in there the important $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. Wow. The first add-on comes from the illustrious Maxine Water. She got it in there. It is a provision to give you free money for the purchase of your first home. It's huge. And you heard me right. That is free money 
money for the buying of your first home. How do you get these in sums of money? I'm going to go over them all later in this video. Stay with me to the final five minutes with the commentary of the situation. But she went at 25000 She got a little bit of last. So let's turn to cost number two, home repairs and paid leave. Wow. Those home repairs, totally incredible. And the paid leave, equally incredible. They also have in there the uh the weather the um household tax credit they have in there the universal pre-kindergarten as well and then they have in there um some of the additional child care one of the first, second one of the most important add-ons which is the second one let's go to it right now tonight is coming from bob casey he got that provision in there which is for free home health care for my seniors and people on disabilities wow this is incredible he went in 250 billion he got a little bit less what is this incredible sums of money let me explain what it is it is free home health care for my seniors and people on disabilities that's incredible let's go to the third clusters of checks and that third cluster starts right now and it's for seniors and free internet third cluster is where the deliciousness starts you're ready here we go and that third cluster they got in there the uh cheaper prescription cheaper prescription medication immigration reform free school meals for all checks they got in there the farmers they got in there the incredible um money for the uh for the workers then the uh, independent contractors, then the free internet, and then the money for the seniors, two provisions across the board. The first one coming from the first two coming from the House, the second two coming from the Senate. So on the House side, they got the hearing and they got in there the Medicaid gap fix. On the Senate side, they got they're proposing to add three more add ons, which are dental vision and lowering the eligibility age. Of Medicare, which is par for the course when we're looking at that MSC, because guess what, that MSC is something they've been promising for several months. When we look at that MSC, what has happened? Well, back in the month of May, these legislators said they were going to give it to you. MSC standing for the an acronym of Multiple IRS Stimulus Check. IRS, because that's what differentiates this from the rest of the recon. Yeah, the recon does have lots of multiple checks in there. Are there multiple checks in there? Yeah, about 15,000. But this is the one that comes from IRS. Back in the month of May, they said they're going to give it to you. Thousands of viewers called, excuse me, thousands of viewers were told it's going in there by those senators. No less than 9 million calls from this channel to date. But two weeks ago, I said to pick up the phone and re-advocate. Why? Because now the legislation's in their ball, in their court, that ball. And boy, you did. All six senators have now told the viewers across the board it's going in there. Casey, Coons, Warren, Wyden, Sanders, and Schumer. But it's important for you to advocate until it's law because we aren't at the finish line just yet. Finish line potentially is seven days away. They now have received between congressional senators' offices, received more context of advocacy from the LA Purple Power than the number of signatures in the American petition. Everyone's amazed by the outpouring of touching stories. Now they have a better understanding of what Americans are going through during this pandemic. They have heartbreaking stories in the voice of people across the nation and you ally, as you have become too loud to be ignored. Please continue your continued advocacy as a professional voice of the people you have become until this becomes law. And who do you advocate to? That message was from one of these six senators, Chief of Staff. You want to advocate two of the six senators who represent they're going to give it to you. Casey Coons, Warren Wyden, Sanders, and Schumer told six viewers in the last six days that it's going in there and you need to pick up the phone and advocate for its inclusion. Don't use the word MSC, just use the word stimulus. Casey Coons, Warren Wyden, Sanders, and Schumer advocate for its inclusion across the board. Where are we on the situation tonight? Where we are on the situation tonight is very, very important. Number one, if you're a viewer who says something like, when is that check getting in my bank account? Don't want to do that. You're a donut guy. Don't want to do that because you want to be getting third stimulus right now, which is $5,000 in your wallet right now. How do you get it? It's coming up only in this video. Number two, if you're someone who says, well, are they going to send out our checks before Christmas? The real key issue tonight is whether they get the whole week on done before Christmas, not whether they get your check out. So what you need to understand is it's a very big comprehensive story. The big comprehensive story is this entire act called the Build Back Better Act. Build Back Better Act. They got to get it passed in the Senate. Getting it passed in the Senate requires that all the senators vote in favor of it. And at the moment, at the moment, 
Very, very fluid situation. I have my analysis you're going to see is totally brand new right after the commercial break. It's brand new because there's a breaking news report in minutes ago about the JoJo meetings. Yeah, the JoJo meetings happened just minutes ago. And let's just say uh, it is not a kumbaya. It's not a kumbaya at the moment. Um, so how does this impact your recomp? Focusing is right on point. Focusing means first you want to advocate for that MSC. Number two, you want to advocate for your wallet. And this has been the biggest, easiest success story for viewers of this channel in the last few days because viewers are getting big cash checks. This, my friends, as you know, is third stimulus, holiday stimulus, and it's been paying out viewers out on average $5,000. Guess what? I got great news for you tonight. I'm going to show you how to get additional sums of it in the final five minutes of this video. This is real money. This is happening right now. As Bob Bacon said, this is meat and potatoes. Um, the fourth stimulus is icing on the cake because this is happening right now. We're going to turn to that student loan debt forgiveness, the latest details on that. We'll be going to fifth stimulus and the latest details on how that impacts your COLA and your five and your SNAP benefits. We'll be turning to these incredible programs in that recon. You need to learn what they are. Get that pen and paper ready. I want you to get that money first. Hawk, hawk, as a purple hawk before anyone else. We're going to go over the Senate changes, and we're going to go over the passage of that recon. But we're going to go over also the latest happening from the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve made its announcement minutes ago. This is the first taped broadcast, most comprehensive tonight, that goes over what happened with the Federal Reserve. All those incredible details in a real jam-packed evening to LA. This is the last major news show of tonight. Those details are more coming up after the commercial break. I'll see you in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now in the second half of this big evening's LA. The recon will pass by Christmas, says Leader Schumer, but will he get it done? I have the breaking news, and it's brand new tonight. The Joe Joe meetings minutes ago, did they go well or did they go poorly? The Senate change is coming in across this incredible recon. And the program's in there, $15,000, but the big meat and potatoes, the money that's available right now is third summers, and we're cleaning up on that out of the latest details. Student loan debt forgiveness, the latest details on that, and then fifth stimulus, the breaking details on that. Plus, we'll be going over what happened with the Federal Reserve minutes ago. This was the biggest announcement of the year. It happened, and I have the latest breaking details tonight in a really jam-packed recording with a lot of details across the board. So with that, subscribe. Go under this video right now and hit that subscribe button. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes. And consider becoming a member of Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Meantime, let's go over what happened with Joe, Joe, Chuck, and Raphael Warnock and tonight. And here we go with the second half of this video. A lot of breaking details across the board. And I have to slow it down for you and recap how we got to the spot. As we are tonight, very, very very confusing situation. When I was covering the subject about seven days ago, I told you that there was an agreement among the Democrats to not give that war of words publicly about, oh, I like the provision, you don't like the provision. You remember the Bernie versus Joe Manchin situation two months ago? So they don't want to give you those types of updates. So 
unfortunately, we're at the burden or the troubling of not knowing incredible details about what's going on with the behind the scenes negotiations. What happened? Throughout the day, there were meetings between Joe Manchin and Joe Biden. And while they don't want to tell you much of what happened, the insiders close to the meeting say that they did not go well, meaning they are no closer today than they were last week or the month before. And guess what? The voting has to start this coming Monday. Now, I have a lot to say, and usually I leave a commentary for the end, but I'm going to put some of the commentary right now to make this very clear. Let's go over what's going on here. Back in July, Joe Man uh, Chuck Schumer said he was going to call a vote in the Senate in July, but didn't because he didn't have enough votes in favor of it. If you don't have enough votes in favor of something, you call it, it fails. It's over. It's gone. It's done. Now, you could always do it again as a brand new legislation, but it's over. It's done. So remember, this legislation has passed the House. It is now in the Senate. So uh, about three, two weeks ago, Joe uh, Chuck Schumer had two quotes. One was, the recon's going to become a law before Christmas. The other quote was, it's going to pass the Senate before Christmas. Neither of them both involve one thing, <laughs> calling a vote. You have to actually call a vote in the Senate for something to pass, whether it's passing the Senate or passing the entire uh, Congress. Remember, it's passed in the House, and now it's passed the Senate. A Senate vote would require one day on the Senate floor, two day for Votorama, uh, at least. That's three days. And then you need to have uh, go back to the House, if it wants to become a law, for at least one day. That's four days. So we've been going over this timeline for over a week now. Schumer's letter, and I have the letter here, I could flip to it, that says the voting will start this coming Monday. Okay, this money starting Monday. They can get the voting passed in the House, in the Senate in three days because of a five-day work week because he wants to do it by christmas which is december which is december 24th next friday five days three days of voting pretty easy for the senate for it to become a law pretty tight because that's four days in a five-day work week now here is where you see my sort of facial reaction sometimes show things on face i don't want to show it uh but tonight i'm sort of showing it because I, I even though i don't want to show it uh i want to say chuck <laughs> Call the darn vote already. Call the darn vote already, Chuck. I mean, really, what's going on tonight? Joe Biden and Joe Manchin had meetings today, and the meetings were not particularly productive, we're being told. In fact, the meetings went all, on all day. They have been going on for, for several months. And reportedly, it's no better than it was before. Now, this is not a familiar, this is not a brand new subject on this channel where the president tries to prod and doesn't get a movement. But I have my quotes, and this is why I'm upset. I wish I had a camera, you know, facing down the table. I have only like 400 pages of notes here because some of the notes are quotes from three weeks ago, two months ago. So let's go back to the quotes from just three weeks ago. The quotes from three weeks ago was from fellow Democrat Senator Chuck Schumer, his colleagues and, and, and longtime friends, saying, Chuck, you have to finally just call the vote. You can't keep on waiting and negotiating and waiting and voting. Just call the vote. If it fails, it fails. Just call the vote. Here is Miguel, who is, uh, here is Maisie Hirono, Democrat of Hawaii. You remember this quote two weeks ago. She said, you just have to just put it to a vote and let, it, and let us know where people stand. Then um, Jeannie Shanana, she's from New Hampshire, says, um, we just have to call the vote. Then we also had Senate Majority Whip Dick Durbin, Illinois, said um, we have more had more than enough time on the subject matter. There's a point in which Americans just expect a result. Um, we have to just decide whether it's a yes or no vote. My experience in this business, you have to bring a vote to finally see where people are. It's speculation notwithstanding. People have to face the reality, yes or no. Call the vote. Uh, the quotes continue off the board. I mean, we have Chuck Schumer saying, our goal is to send to pass the legislation before Christmas and get it to the president's table. Why well, aren't you your goal? But you have to call the vote. I mean, you have to call the vote. Now, again, his representation, Schumer's, he's calling the, he's that he would start the voting this coming Monday. Well, you know, uh, and, and that the Senate parliamentarian would have a ruling by the end of this week. We have a lot of other quotes, like John Tester says, what happens if it doesn't go down? What happens if it fails? Well, then it fails. Here's the takeaway tonight is that there was a series of insiders to these JoJo meetings where Joe Manchin said uh, that, um, you know, maybe the child care credit does not get extended and it, 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 and it, it expires. Um, maybe the, uh, the forced stimulus recon doesn't get done in December. Yeah, he actually talked about December, not Christmas. But I think I'm going to do it. Well, you know, first of all, 
Chuck Schumer determines when the vote is called. Joe Manchin doesn't determine when the vote is called. But the president's still having these chats, you know, on a, what is today? Today is a Wednesday, Thursday, and the voting is to start the following Monday. Uh, if you're no closer today than you were a month ago or two months ago, you're just going to have to call the vote. You're just going to have to call the vote. Now, let me talk about Raphael Warnock. Raphael Warnock, who has fought to get a lot of these provisions working in this recon, he's a senator out of Georgia, he's now talking about moving this voting on the recon into January. Now, I wouldn't say it, it looks like you have cold feet, that you're afraid it's going to fail, so you're just going to move it on. And there are a series of other quotes today, tonight, these are all brand new in the last few minutes, where the two Joes think it doesn't hurt their political career if they move the recon to January. I think it does. I think it does. I think keep on this has been their their project since April of this year, and you keep on not calling the vote, then it sort of looks like, you know, something that's there, but that's not there. Call the vote. So, I mean, I could almost say to you at this point, because I still feel so emphatic about it, because I, I don't often feel so impassioned about a subject like I am tonight. We almost need a hashtag campaign. Call the darn vote. Call the darn vote, Chuck. Are you afraid of something? Call the vote and let's see if it fails. Let's see if it fails or wins. Now, I want to go over the, the focal point for you is that remember this recon is a whole is a whole body of legislation. Either it all passes or it all fails. Now, there are certainly provisions that can come in and provisions that can come out. But um, people not calling the vote are trying to belabor the point of whether it's going to pass or not pass. I think it's at some point you have to just call the vote and just, you know, you know, if it, if it fails, then bring it back and do it again as a brand new bill in January. But uh, just call the vote and get it done with. <laughs> I think that's a little bit, you know, uh, a little bit more than usually on Evening's Ally. Let's go to the incredible checks that are in this recon. Uh, those incredible checks in this recon will pay you a lot <laughs> if, if it becomes law uh, and, and when it becomes law. You know, the Joe Manchin quotes and the Joe Biden quotes tonight as it will become law. Yeah, but the question is, you know, 20 years from now, 20 months from now, 20 weeks from now, or 20 minutes from now, you know, it, or 20 days from now. Uh, which one is it? So, uh, you know, here we go. Let's go over those incredible provisions in this recon tonight. The provisions in this recon tonight are uh, incredible. The first one is the uh, the paid leave. $7,900 so we make $70,000 or more per year. And if you make $35,000 or more per year, it's $800 a week. And if you make... $15,000 or more per year, $400 a week. How many weeks? Up to five to six weeks a year. Yeah. So on the high, uh, four weeks per year. So on the high end, it's about five to $6,000 a year. It's a lot of money. It's great. They got the song cap in there, raising the amount you can deduct on state and local taxes on the federal taxes to, from $10,000 to $72,500. They got $40 billion of free job training in there. Incredible across the board. Then they got in there the Pell Grant, uh, $550. They got in there the Medicaid gap fix, providing for cheap, um, low uh, cheap private insurance to low-income uninsured people in the 12 workaround states, those Republican states where the governors vowed never to pay for Obamacare. Then we get to the best provision of the recon, the best part, and it really puts us in perspective of where we are tonight, and that is the housing, $150 billion, so six provisions, three new, the weatherizing you know, home, home repairs and first-time home purchases, but the other three provisions are rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance. And the great news is you don't have to wait for forced stimulus to become law. You don't have to wait for the vote. You can get it today. It's third stimulus. It's your holiday stimulus, so get your pen and paper ready. This has been the big success story of this channel in the last uh, two weeks. Viewers, number one are getting on average about 5,000. We have not gone high. Some viewers have gone 138,000. Other viewers have gone on the low end, 2,000. The average payout is 46 months of rent. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. Then they're getting two utilities. Let's go over the incredible sums of money, how you get in just a second. But first, let's turn to the stories. The viewers understood from me that <clears throat> this is money that frees up cash in your wallet. So the month of December, you're about to pay the landlord the, the rent money, and you got the cash in your wallet. Let's say it's $1,000. You don't have to take it out because now it has been paid for by third stimulus. And hence, you can now spend that $1,000 in your wallet on those holiday gifts, that holiday meal, maybe that holiday trip across the board. Let's go over the incredible stories across the board. Congratulations to Lynn Glenn, by the way, who just sent me a message. She got more money. 
on top of what you got before in the last few days. Here's Amy who says, thank you for your unprecedented support to showing your viewers how to get this money. I like Amy's story. She's in rural Kentucky, uh, ravaged by the hork, by the tornado. This is a message before the tornado, so send your prayers to everyone out there. But she has gotten now three rounds of utilities for this channel this year, two rounds of rent, and also food stamps. And she wants everyone to understand there's money everywhere in every state, even the most rural. Great message. Here comes the incredible uh, Judy, who says, You're, you are Jesus in disguise. I appreciate that, Judy. What did she do? She got $3,000 December 2020 for those three months. And now she comes back and does it again. And she got it for this month, next month, and the month after. And now she's able to get those Christmas gifts, this incredible money. And she says, I've been listening to you since March. I'm going to continue to listen to you. I appreciate that. There's Sandra, who says she's telling all her friends to watch this channel. I really appreciate it. The traffic is really going up a lot, and the subscriber and the membership as well. She says, I want to thank you for everything we done, you've done. We've gotten that. Uh, we've gotten about $2,000 the last few days, and we're in Indiana. Here comes another person, five to $6,000. Um, here is uh, Thorne Diaz, who got four more months of rent. Here's Chef John Meyer, who got more money. Deborah, who got 4000 Congratulations to her. Here's Lynn Glenn. She had gotten uh, $2,800 just a few days ago. She got another sum of money. I'll have more about that on tomorrow's Early Mornings LA. That's brand new for her as well. Here comes Lorica. She got her wood paid for. Um, here is uh, Robin. She got three utilities and then another three utilities. She's just an angel in disguise. And the, the, the stories keep on coming on in. Here's Madonna, who got three rounds. Incredible. Uh, here's Kathy Cheney, who says, thank you for all you do. You are a godsend. She got about five, $6,000. Incredible for Kathy. Uh, and there is, um, Morel, um, and also May Lou. I love my story. I'm going to go over May Lou later. She got about $5,000, but guess what? She got another check just a few days ago. How's she doing this? I'll show you in just a second. And I'm going to end with Chris's story. He got $10,000 from Third Simmons earlier this year. He heard my recordings two weeks ago. Said, I would never have known that this money is available. He went and now got it. And now that's another $5,000. Let me go over how we got here because it's very important to understand how we got here. I know how things work. I know how bills work. I know how paying your bills costs. And in December 2020, we were waiting for second stimulus to become law. It wasn't. We were then the first stimulus. I came into this channel, and people were just waiting for second stimulus to come. What day a second stimulus check laid in my bank account? For many people, it didn't land until February of next year. And I said, you can't be financially dependent upon the event. Get money and cash when it's available. Get as much of it as fast as possible. And I show viewers how to get $250,000 of rent in December 2020. The exact way I'm showing it to you today. The only difference is a lot more of that rent today. I say you get that rent, you won't have to pay for the rent, and you can now have money for your holiday gifts. That's what Tyrone did. His family four out of Boston in December 2020. Got $15,000. Didn't have to pay $15,000 out of his wallet for four or five months, and that cash freed up all this money he could spend during the holiday season. Changed his life. There's one thing I know better than anyone else is how to get viewers money, lots of them, getting them $25 million of EID loans right before that in spring of 2020. But when third stimulus and fourth stimulus were heating up over the last few weeks, you and I looked at the situation, we clearly understood fourth stimulus was never going to send you money to land in your hand before Christmas. There was enough days. They had to get the fourth stimulus done in November. So it was enough days. So I said, go get this money. And viewers were shocked and delighted with the news. One, they didn't know if they had gotten the sums of money before. They can get another round today. And number two, they didn't know that there was still money out there. They thought it was used up, especially for new viewers. Thank you if you're a new viewer of this channel. So let's go over this money, how you get it right now, now that you understand the successes you can have. And we're going to go over that rent, utilities, mortgages, and more. And the rent has gone up a lot. And this is a graphic three months ago. It was twenty thirty thousand, and now it's upwards of forty thousand dollars. So where do you get it? This is where you want to take your pen and paper and take notes. If you're a member, follow along with the newsletter. You must do exactly the way I'm going over this right now. So reach out to six places: city hall, city house authority, county hall, county house authority, state hall, and state house authority. And the keywords you're gonna say are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage utility assistance because of COVID. Three months, you must reach out to all six places. Number two, you must get applications on file everywhere. Number three, you must be doing multiple rounds. So you got a round early this year, you're going to do another round today. If you got one round yesterday, it doesn't preclude you from getting a different round for different months from a different organization today.
Utilities will get as many utilities paid for. $15,000. Yeah, Mark's brother-in-law, absolutely incredible. He got that, and that is now his utility bill. But Mark's brother-in-law did even better on Snap. Got $25,000 a year because of his channel. He's getting a quarter million dollars over the next 10 years. Here is what the graphic will look like for those people, but the Snap is going up a lot. It went up 25% in a lifetime starting the month of October. Combo items, get three items. Nisi got three. Mark Sullivan got three. Inspired me to tell Mark, where's your third? Because he was at two at 32000 He got his third and brought him to 50000 Now he's over 100000 Here's Lorraine. She was at one hundred five. Now she's at one hundred twenty. Normally, I would talk about Johnny at this part of the recording, but there is a lot of breaking news tonight about the Federal Reserve and about what's going on with the vote. I want to go over it, plus my commentary. Let's cut right back into where this big money is in this fourth stimulus recon. So with that, please go get this holiday stimulus. I'll be going over the details in just a second. And the details of this fourth stimulus are incredible. That fourth stimulus has those set of changes going in there, but also has those existing checks. And let's go back over those existing checks. They got in there also the three other checks for the housing. The home repairs, all types of income qualifications, excuse me, the home repairs for low-income housing, the uh, weatherize your home, all qualifications, and then the first-time home purchases. Wow. They got $150 billion of in-home health care. Incredible. Got it in there. They got a $550 check for my college students for the Pell Grant. Then they got in there one of the best provisions, the Medicaid gap fix. Um, and then they got in there the nutrition, $65 a month per child. But one of the best provisions at issue got in there, which is the cheaper medication. Medicare Part B, Medicare Part D, the most expensive medications like cancer, arthritis, diabetes, dramatically slashed. So like a, a dose of insulin goes at, from $1,000 to $35 as the new price point. Wow. They are going to struggle 20 medications day one, grow to 30 medications by the year 2028 that cannot increase more than the rate of inflation. If they do, there's a penalty provision. A penalty provision? <laughs> what do you mean a penalty provision? You can't have a penalty provision in recon, which is what Senator Pat Toomey says, and I agree, and that's a provision that the Senate parliamentarian is set to rule on. Now, here's again where I don't want to show something on my face, <laughs> but I certainly want to certainly say it out of my mouth. I don't know what's going on with Chuck and the Senate parliamentarian folks. I mean, come off already. Senate parliamentarian has had this recon since the spring. And I understand she's a government official. She's not Democrat or Republican. But when is she going to rule, for, for goodness sakes? The vote is this coming Monday. And if she says something comes out and it's $150 billion, well, where is that 150 going to go? You have to reallocate that 150, $150 billion to some other program that's staying in the recon. Because remember, if she removes something, the cash stays in, and just the program goes out. Well, what are they going to do? Have 50 of these Democratic senators have an emergency meeting on Sunday to type, determine where to reallocate the money? I, I, it's And where is the update? Now, I understand broadcast news reports are not that good. But if I was right there in front of Chuck, I'd say, Leah Schumer, when, what is going on with the Senate Parliamentarian? Why has she not decided yet? I mean, it's enough already. Her not deciding is going to back up our timelines here um, because guess what? I keep on saying, you know, by Friday, well, you know, if she can decide at Friday at 5 o'clock p.m., then when, when we can put the other, when are we going to reallocate the money? It's just getting darn close, folks. Um, and that's why it's a nail biter. While I tell you, watch every single video throughout the entire video. For the next 14 days, you must, because this is going to be literally a, a changing news cycle by the 20-minute hour, by the 20-minute circle. It's going to change that quickly. Um, then let's go over this graphic, $15,000. Yeah, there's likely a lot more checks in there than $15,000 because it continues everything back from third stimulus, the page of $45,000. Those student changes is going to you know, be a couple thousand and the add-ons, so we're clearly above fifty dollars to $60,000. Student loan debt forgiveness, let's take a detour to that a second, but first let's go over the other provisions of this incredible recon. They got in the Universal Kindergarten new, the Pell Grant new $550 check, the housing week, that's new, except the provisions are repeat, and the nutrition. But several provisions are set to expire, um, and they got to get this recon done because if they expire, guess what? <laughs> They're gone. The earned income tax credit for the essential workers, that's the hazard pay, set to expire. The care credit, set to expire. The CTC, set to expire. That's $3,600. 
So it's important to really get this done across the board. Uh, and with that, I'm going to go over more about that in my commentary in just a second. But let's turn to the student loan debt for, for just a second. And that student loan debt is important for you to know. And that student loan debt is critical. Student loan debt is at $10,000 offer across the board. And so important for those Democrats is to get this accepted. The Democrats have previously seen this. The president forgives, forgives student loan debts for individuals who gained disabled after graduation. People went to work in the nonprofit sector. People went to work in the public sector. Democrats should take the latest offer across the board. Then what about that fifth stimulus COLA raise and also SNAP? A lot of questions about this across the board. First, your benefits are going up 5.9% January 1. You don't have to do anything for this. This is automatic. Now, your benefits are going up means you're going to have more income because your benefits is income, 5.9%. Your SNAP went up 25% on average in the month of October. So in going up on your, co on your income, your benefits, 5.9%, your SNAP is going to go down a little bit, maybe about 5.9% down. This is not going to bring you down to the, the, the minus 20% of where you were back in October. It's going to be a nominal change. You're not going to lose SNAP either unless you barely qualify for the first point because you make too much money. If you barely qualify for SNAP, that's an issue for you. But if you don't, you're not going to lose SNAP across the board. And with that, I wanted to give some time in these final five to ten minutes of this video to give you my commentary of what's going on. But first, I want to go over what happened with the Federal Reserve minutes ago and what it did, didn't say, sort of said, and sort of confused people about. The Federal Reserve announced its policies for this economy for next year somewhat in its announcement today. And that Federal Reserve had said that today would give us guidance. Well, did it give us guidance about everything? No. So what was I saying? What was I saying going into today's announcement of the Federal Reserve? I said they're going to taper faster, which is removing their support of the economy by buying mortgage-backed interest rates, um, uh, uh, bonds, and things like that. And I said there was going to be two interest rate spikes next year, the first one in Q1. So what did the Federal Reserve say today? There was the anticipation of what they're going to say minutes before and then what they actually said, which is very, very confusing. And I may not have made this clear on, 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 on holidays I like today, but let me explain what it was. First, Federal Reserve will be tapering faster, as I had predicted, number one. Number two, the Federal Reserve would not box itself into a corner about interest rate spikes. So it would not say how many or what month or when. Many analysts now believe that based upon the way the Federal Reserve spoke today, it looks like it would be three interest rate spikes in 2022, not two like I predicted, and certainly the first one in Q1, as I predicted. But the Federal Reserve would not give a rate today, would not give you how many interest rate spikes there were and not say how soon they are, but did say it would not do interest rate spikes until the tapering is finished. So that's going to buy you more time across the board. The interest, the tapering has to finish before they're going to do the interest rate spikes. That was good news. Why? What was the reaction with this for the markets? Crypto was up because crypto is a hedge against inflation. So they're basically saying, I guess, based upon their mindset, the crypto investors, is that inflation is going to be around a little bit longer because the Fed didn't come in as strong with saying, here's an interest rate spike. Stocks were up higher on the news. They liked it because they did not think that the bond market was going to rally, and it didn't, based upon interest rate spikes. So the absence of anything about interest rate spikes in today's announcement was good news for everything except perhaps what's going on with inflation. Federal Reserve left its door open. Bottom line is everyone loved the comments today. Left it very loose, said we are not going to box ourselves in a corner. We're waiting for Omicron. They believe Omicron is still a serious threat to where this economic growth is. And there we go. And with that, let me go into my final minutes of commentary tonight, which is going to be a little bit different than usual because the situation is very, very robust tonight across the board. First, let's go over the four stimulus recon in the next 14 days. You have to make yourself a promise. Two promises, actually. One, watch every video on this channel in the next 14 days and watch a video every single day in the next 14 days. Second, go up to camera with a pen and paper and take notes of all the checks that are in the Force Service Recon that you want to get. And then make a question, but put questions next to it for anything you don't understand because we're going to have a new show on this channel as soon as it becomes live to show you how to get this incredible sums of money. 
Now, let's go over the next 14 days. I could sit back here and be a pontificator, you know, like that octopus that predicts the uh, the World Cup. <clears throat> I don't know if he is he still alive. I don't know if he's still alive. I could be a pont. I could be a you know uh, a fortune teller and just sort of tell you what's going to happen in the next ten days. I'm not going to do that. Uh, yeah, everyone has opinion. I'm, I don't do that type of opinion. What I do want to tell you is that you need to be focused, and the focus as to force stimulus is that there is two possibilities at the moment. It passes and becomes law in the month of December, or it doesn't pass and doesn't become law in the month of December. We are going to get a really good sense potentially of this, perhaps over the weekend. And I don't usually say watch those weekend shows. I think you're going to get a really good sense over the weekend because someone's going to say among these Democrats, uh, are we voting on Monday? <laughs> Are we voting on Monday? Because we are told we're voting on Monday. So I need to be in, I, you know, I have to, you know, leave the golf course and get actually to Congress and do some work today. Uh, so they have to be teed up, theoretically and figuratively, teed up to start voting on Monday. So watch this show over the weekend because we're going to see if they've been told, get ready to start voting on Monday. If they've not been told to get ready to vote on Monday, then we're going to start to wonder, okay, why not? And people, I think, elsewhere are going to say, what happened to Monday? Chuck Schumer... In a way, I like what he has done here, which is he gave it a date. And everyone is repeating that date to their blue in the face. Christmas, 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 to Christmas. So everyone is gonna everyone that books a senator for Sunday, Saturday morning TV talk show about talking about the weekend, I was gonna ask, so what about Schumer's day to Christmas? They're all gonna talk about it. And I like that because that applies pressure. You have to apply pressure for the quote. Now, should we have a hashtag came in on this channel called Call the Vote Chuck? <laughs> Just call the vote Chuck. Hashtag call the vote Chuck. I think we should. <laughs> I think I'll start it right now. Hashtag call the vote Chuck. It's very unprompted. I'm just literally just coming out the top of my head. Because I, I, I just think that there is, in the back of my brain, I just am concerned that there is a that there is a person potentially getting cold feet out there that may say, uh, maybe we shouldn't call the vote. Maybe, you know, maybe we aren't ready. Maybe we aren't ready. And I just have to say, hey, here's the amazing heroic quote. Here's the Dick Durbin quote from, from three weeks ago. Just call the darn vote, and if it fails, just let it fail. What you need to understand is that the weekend could always fail. It could always fail, which means we just start over and we start over again. Uh, we don't have anything. Um, for anyone externally, uh, that sort of sees us as one check. We didn't get our one check. No, no, no. <laughs> the check is part of a, a bill. <laughs> and the bill doesn't pass. There's no bill at all. It's not sort of like your check was taken out. Um, so that's what's important across the board. Now, let's go over third stimulus and you. Third stimulus has been the big winner, and it will continue to be the big winner every single day of this week, every single day of next week of this channel, because there's big sums of money available for you. Here are the two new sums you can get if you've gotten $5,000 in the last two weeks from third stimulus. You can get other sums. Here, the first one is that additional utility bill. If you look at your notes, what utility did you not get paid for yet? If you got two, go get that third or that fourth. Go get it. Lynn Glenn did it. May, uh, uh, May Lou did it. $700 extra to May Lou. She has $700 extra in her wallet. Go get it. Next. When we talk about an extra round, you can get an extra round so long as it doesn't inherently conflict. Let's say you got rent October, November, December from Organization 1, number 1. You can go get January, February, March tomorrow from Organization number 2. Yeah, that's how you do it. And if you know you don't have to spend $3,000 of rent from January, February, March with organization number two, that's an extra $3,000 that's going to stay in your wallet and won't have to come out of your wallet, and you'll free up for extra cash to spend on the holiday season. Finally, perspective. It's very important to stay on point with perspective when we're at a finish line like this. Goalposts moving, that should be delayed. Feel like goalposts moving? Sort of. You know, like you're at the finish line, and someone's like, hey. Maybe we won't call the vote yet. Yeah, yeah, maybe we won't call the vote, but Raphael Warnock thought they shouldn't call the vote until January. Darn you. I don't like I don't like that he said that. Um, he's not the one who determines when we call the vote. Uh, he wanted to do another body of legislation, which I don't think is any easier to pass than those we got. Um, and the issue at hand is that the presence and his negotiations, I mean, his involvement helps the situation, but he also needs to step back and just see if it fails or see if it works. And if it fails, it fails. 
what is your perspective? Your perspective is you're an elite group and you're an elite group that has learned all the details of this incredible recon, but the situation is very fluid. Programs may be coming out, programs may be going in, they may be added, they may be subtracted, so stay with me and stay with me all throughout the night and the, and the new morning. We have Indians Countdown coming up next, and then we have Holidays Allied right after that, and then Stream Stimulus, and then uh, and then Calcino with Sirloin and Javier Light. And with that, subscribe. I want you part of the global family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, three thousand likes, and consider becoming a member. Keep on advocating to get all those incredible sums of money for your wallet from Third Stimulus. They're still paying out. This is thousands of dollars. This pays your bills. This is the average payout of five thousand dollars of viewers and doctors. Go get that money today. Advocate for all the provisions in that recon, including that MFC, because the recon ain't. We ain't at the finish. We aren't over the finish line. We're at the edge of the finish line, and the finish line is likely in the next seven days. I believe it's going to be cast by December, end of December. But it's a very fluid situation. I'll have more details for you tomorrow morning on Early Morning LA. And with that, subscribe, like this video, and consider becoming a member. Have a beautiful evening, and I'll have more about the Federal Reserve's announcement and the nuances of the situation. It's very, very fluid across the board as Early Morning LA continues tomorrow morning. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful evening, and stay with LA for more.